Hello my dear children of class 11 science. Uh, today I welcome all of you through this mode of teaching and that we are following YouTube mode and in today's class we start new chapter one of the chapter uh, in unit number 7 uh, this is flow of liquids okay or we also simply call as viscosity. Now, this is one of the important chapter uh, not only important for your examination class 11 examination but equally important for your competitive examination also okay and this comes under unit number seven property of bulk matter and the chapter that we are dealing with flow of liquids okay liquid as you know liquid is one of the types of what matter oh, which has number of properties liquid does not have a definite what uh, shape okay liquid always echo the shape of the container the molecules of the liquid are loosely packed as compared to solid the liquid can flow okay so one of the property if we go through the liquid is liquid can flow but all the liquid cannot flow in a similar manner cannot flow in a similar manner okay now to study in detail about the the study of what flow of liquid that is completely expressed by the term known as viscosity that is known as what viscosity so before we come to the definition of viscosity okay we try to understand the flow of liquid occur on a surface and there are two type of flow that we need to understand one is called streamline flow also called laminar flow and there is called turbulent flow what flow turbulent flow that means the flow of liquid look let me just classify this way only the flow of liquid are basically two types one is called streamline flow s t e streamline flow now this streamline flow is also known as laminar flow what flow laminar flow now there is another flow of liquid that is called turbulent flow t u r b u turbulent flow means the flow of any liquid is expressed by two types one is called streamlined flow also called laminar flow and one is called turbulent flow but in order to discuss in detail about this chapter we focus mostly on the streamlined flow okay so let's try to understand what is streamline flow. So let's first define what is streamline or laminar flow. So the statement says that when a liquid, any liquid, okay, flows such that each particle passing a certain point means which when the liquid pass, uh, flows, okay, it flows in a certain direction, okay. So that in that case, what happened? The path followed by the liquid which flow in a particular direction, okay, passes by number of points where the particle passing a certain point follows the same path see try to understand this part uh, each particle passing a certain point follows the same path as the preceding particles which pass the same point such type of flow is called streamline flow or also called laminar flow so as for the statement uh, which i mentioned just now okay so this statement of streamline flow can be understood with the help of diagram also and with the help of diagram let me try to make you understand this streamline flow now let me just consider randomly that this is the path followed by the particles liquid which are flowing in this way suppose the liquid is flowing from this end and uh, going this way okay so this is the path followed by the liquid okay in a surface okay so when liquids are flowing in this path then I consider one of the points suppose A I consider one of the points say A similar I consider another point say B now I consider another point what C. So this type of point can number of points can be considered on this path of the liquid in path followed by the liquid. But suppose if I take one of the points say A in which one of the particle of the liquid flows in this direction and the direction of the liquid particles of the liquid if flow at this point is given by a tangent drawn at this point. So this is a tangent drawn at this point and this tangent determines by what velocity the particle or particle of the liquid flowing at this point A and that is given by B1. Similarly, suppose if I take one of the part particle which is flowing at point B in a direction and the direction of the particles followed by uh, path of the particles, okay, direction of particles, sorry, at this point also given by tangent drawn at this point. So, this is the tangent drawn at this point and this determines the velocity of the particle flowing at the point B in this path. Similarly, if I take another point C in which the liquid also follow 
uh, a particular direction in which the particles of the liquid flow in this point and that, that the velocity of the particle at this point is given by drawing a tangent at this point and that is B3. So I have taken three different points okay, of the path followed by the liquid. Okay. But as for the statement which is said by uh, uh, as for the statement which I explained just now, this statement explains that suppose one of the particles of the liquid move at point A move in this direction with a velocity B1. Then another particle which comes at the same point A also move with a velocity B1 and follow the same direction. Then after the next particle which comes, okay, keep on coming, okay, that particle also at A follow the same uh, follow the same direction with a velocity what b1 but at the same time when this particle is at this point b then the velocity particle of one of the particle is given by b2 so when another particle come at the same point b that particle also follow the move with the velocity b2 and follow the same direction so in this way at every point of the path followed by the liquid okay each particle passing a certain point, see, these are the points, certain points, okay, follow the same path, follow the same path, means, see, this is the path followed by the particle, but at a given point, the velocity of all the particles move at this point remains same, and that velocity is given by B1 at A, B2 at B, B3, B3 at what, see, so these are the cases where all the particles passing through this point Move with the same with move with the velocity say b1 b2 b3 and follow the same path okay follow the same path as the preceding particle does a such type of flow occurred by the liquid is called streamline flow what flow we call streamline flow that's why one important point you need to keep in mind that the tangent this I call tangent this line drawn out there is called tangent okay so tangent drawn at any point Okay, in a streamline, give the direction of velocity of the velocity of the liquid at that point. So, if the to find the velocity of liquid at A, this is given by tangent drawn at A, and that velocity is B1. To find the velocity of liquid at B, it's given by drawing a tangent at this point, and that is B2. Similarly, you can calculate the velocity of liquid at any point in a streamline flow, and that is given by drawing a tangent at that point. Drawing a tangent at that what point? Now children, one point you need to keep in mind and this is actually the important property of streamline flow and the important property is the velocity of the liquid. So try to understand this part. The velocity of the liquid be different at different points. Like you can see in the diagram, velocity of liquid at A, B and C are not same because their direction are changing. That's why velocity are changing. But the velocity of liquid at a given point, but at a given point means a particular point the velocity remain what constant that means the velocity of liquid at a remain b1 that remain b1 that means whatever particle that cross at point a they acquire move with the same velocity b1 at point a okay so this is one of the important property of streamline flow so remember this in case of streamline flow the velocity of all liquid at different points are different because their direction are changing but the velocity of liquid at a given point always remain constant because at that particular point, all the particles which cross at that point move with the same velocity. So this is the important part of streamline flow. That's why if you look at this diagram, in this particular diagram, you can see that A, B, C are three points on the same streamline of a flow liquid, flowing liquid. That's why all those particles, okay, all those particles of the liquid, all those particles of the what liquid which pass through A, B and what? C means they pass through all this point. Means if the particle pass through A means the same particle pass through B also, the same particle pass through C also. That's why you can see in the diagram that the velocity of what? The liquid at three points A, B, C I have considered as B1, B2 and what? B3. These are different. But at one at one, uh, one point, say a particular point say A, the velocity is always what? B1. Whatever the particle of the liquid which flows at this point and this is true not only for a this is also true for b and it's also true for what c so this is uh, the uh, explanation of what streamline flow also called laminar flow now children we go to the next type of flow of liquid uh, that is also occurred on the surface that is called turbulent flow 
Now this is just opposite to streamline flow. So in this type of particular type of flow, the particles of the liquid, the particles of the liquid follow independent paths. Okay, follow what independent path and as such intermingling. Okay, of two or more layers intermingling means they mix. The layer will mix each other. So one layer. The particle moves or particle of the liquid moves on the layer, okay, number of layers, but the layer of the liquid will simply intermingling with each other. So such type of flow which occurs, okay, so that the particle of the liquid follow independent path, they move randomly in all the direction. And such type of flow is called turbulent flow. What flow we call turbulent flow, or we also call it zigzag flows. Okay. So in this type of flow, as I said, the velocity of particle at a point is time dependent. That means if one particle move cross at this point with a particular velocity in a particular direction, another particle may move with a different velocity and different direction. But that is all determined by the time dependence. And the velocity gradient is not constant. So out here I'll tell you, velocity gradient means the change in velocity per unit length. The change in velocity per unit length will not remain constant in turbulent flow. And such type of flow, okay, uh, in such type of flow, it is very difficult to study okay that in which particular direction the velocity of the particle are flowing whereas in case of streamline flow we can easily study and measure the velocity of all the particle which are moving at a point in a streamline flow okay so the nature of streamline flow let me just show you with the diagram suppose this is the streamline flow uh, turbulent flow where the particles liquid is comprised of a number of particles and when the liquid is comprised of a number of particles which are flowing then all the particles move independently means this arrow hits that that means they the path followed by the particle is random that means they move randomly so there is a in, intermingling of this layer of particles with each other okay so one layer of particle with intermingling with other layer okay so that the motion takes place randomly and the path follows zigzag and in all the direction such type of flow is called turbulent flow that's why I told you in turbulent flow, velocity gradient will not remain constant. Whereas in streamline flow, the velocity gradient remain constant. Okay, velocity gradient remain what? Constant. Now children, with regards to this streamline flow, okay, there is an imaginary tube we can consider. What tube? An imaginary tube. Okay, and this tube is made up of large number of streamlines. And this particular tube is called streamline tube. So you can see in the diagram, this is called streamline tube. So this X, Y is a streamline tube and this is a what tube? Imaginary tube, not a real tube. But this tube is considered to be made up of number of streamline, okay, in which the liquid can flow. Now in this streamline tube, if you see the boundary wall, the boundary wall of the streamline tube are everywhere parallel to the direction of flow of liquid. It means this, this direction, this direction are parallel to each other. Even if you measure the boundary wall of each flow, they are also parallel to what? Each other. That's why the liquid can neither go out or nor come in through the wall of the tube. The liquid that enters at say an X, okay, leave at the other end Y. If it were all flowing in an actual tube, okay, that means in case of streamline tube, okay, the liquid which enters from end X will come out from the end what Y also, okay. So this type of flow which is can be measured, the streamline flow which can be measured by a tube that is called imaginary tube. And this tube is called streamline tube. So, children, let me just tell you, this is not a real tube. This is a imaginary tube, which is considered so that we can study the flow of liquid that is called streamline flow. Now, the another thing that you need to keep in mind is that two streamline can never intersect each other. This streamline and this streamline can never intersect each other. If they would do so, then there will be two direction of the velocity of the liquid at the point of intersection which is actually not possible. That's why remember this children, two streamline can never intersect each other. They may be very close to each other, but never intersect each other. Okay, so that's why this tube, which is imagined to be considered, so that all the streamline which is drawn for the liquid on the streamline flow can never intersect each other. Okay, so I've explained the introductory part of this chapter, especially with the types of flow you learned, streamline flow and turbulent flow.